Welcome back. Let's see if we can get into this junkyard. And like I said, that's also going to require some lateral thinking. We saw before... This chain opens the gate. But as soon as you let go and try to get to the gate, it closes. No way you're going to make that. So, we'd need some way to keep it open. Except there is no way to keep it open. No, in fact, you're supposed to do the exact opposite. There's a latch here without a lock. So let's put a lock on it. We're supposed to keep this gate closed. Because that locks the chain in place. So we can actually climb it instead of use it to pull the gate open. Ah, uh, junk. That sort of, uh... felt like the Mission Impossible theme. It wasn't quite. Lots of junk cars. To walk all the way over there. No, thank you. He does not like cars. We want motorbikes. Preferably forks for a motorbike. Ooh, fire damage. Forget about it. Yeah, this scrolls to the right, and man, did that take me a long time to figure out, uh, because there's no arrow here. And you will get completely stuck on this screen um, if you don't realize that it scrolls. Because there's no way to get these forks here. Just the kind of forks I need, right on top. That's convenient. Yeah. And no matter what you do, the dog will always come after you. So we have to take care of that pooch first. He ran off to the right. So let's follow him. And like I said, the first time I played this, I did not realize you could follow him to the right. I didn't realize the screen scrolled. So I was stuck here for quite a while until I discovered by accident that you could actually go here. Our attempt to do anything with the dog went kind of wrong. Down. Who needs dogs? Yeah, much prefer cats. What we need to do, of course, is use the meat to get rid of the dog. We can't just give it to him. Because any attempt to click on him leads to this result. <laughs> Okay, so maybe we can put the meat somewhere. To lure the dog away. 
like maybe in one of these cars. Here, poochie pooch. Pooch. Bon appetit, mother. There we go. That should take care of it. I'm getting really tired of this. Down. Bad dog. Okay. So apparently the meat is not distracting enough. He's still comes after you when you try to touch anything. But he did go back to the car. And you may notice there is a... Uh, crane here. Which we can actually operate. So, let's see. Let's... Um, Oh, that didn't do much. I guess that turns the Mackendorn off. Oh, damn it. Like that, okay. Right, magnet on. Gotcha. There we go. Now I don't think that dog can get down from there. Dangling all the way up there. So hopefully now we can get those forks. I think I alluded to this particular scene at some point. I think during Dreamfall uh, with the guard dog behind the water house. <coughs> nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish her up. I'm working on a surprise. I hate surprises. All right, here she comes! Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average, everyday, pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you gonna try this thing out or not? Ooh, I wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. Well, we got our bike back. And we set Marine's shop on fire, so that wasn't very nice. Uh oh. Alright, look like he's a sneaky one. This time he ain't getting past us. See him? Nope. Keep looking. I think those cops got some backup.
Seems a bit overkill for somebody who tried to break into a gas tower, but maybe that's just me. This may be a problem. But maybe we can lure them away. After all, we know a way to attract them. They think we're at the tower again. Hopefully they'll leave the road unguarded. Hear that? It's back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's get him. All you just follow me. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? You could say that. We're in it. You could also say that. I had in a basket cause I'd had a tank full. When she blew my gasket, I surely was thankful Till I head for the skies up above It's a woman with wheels that I love yeah. Come on, old man. I gotcha. Now, do something incriminating, like ambush somebody. It's that reporter! Ha, the plot thickens. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Oops. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No. Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm. How about one for the road? Corley? Corley? Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <laughs> Rip Berger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying. And he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Oh. A bastard! <coughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah, and she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt the first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Maureen. Maureen? Way to go, Marine! Rip Berger's way ahead of me. I just hope Marine can handle herself until I get there. Hmm. Gun, I understand. Why'd he bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors! <laughs> Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is bullets. 
Yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Mo's shack, but I don't see the memo. Maybe I beat them here. I don't think you did. On second thought, maybe I didn't. Plot twist! Well, at least Ribburger was telling the truth about one thing in the introduction. He wasn't waiting for Corley to die, because he was going to kill him. And now, it looks like Marine may be in trouble too. Or did she manage to get away? Well, I guess we'll find out in the next video.